With the judiciary on the sport in recent months, as a section of Kenyans slam the independent term of government of being in bed with the executive, two weeks after President William Ruto's perceived onslaught on the judiciary during the Supreme Court at 12 conference, the Law Society of Kenya has slammed the judiciary, citing lack of transparency. There are credible allegations of institutionalized corruption within the judiciary, which is increasingly undermining public confidence and trust. The complaints pointing towards unfettered bribery and unethical conduct by judicial officers has continued to weaken and undermine justice, the justice system and at the same time erode the credibility and effectiveness of the judiciary. All this is happening in the backdrop of a diminishing confidence in the judiciary. All surveys and pertinent complaints from our members point at a complacent judiciary that cannot defend itself from allegations of runaway corruption within its ranks. The society has called on the judiciary to develop frameworks of dealing with complaints and engaging more with Kenyans to ensure easier ways of tracking cases. We demand that the judiciary must raise up to give the constitution mm -hmm. its essence and substance in achieving the objects of nation building, state accountability and the rule of law. We demand a transparent process for tracking, expeditious resolution of complaints, involvement of the law society in collection, collation and inquiry of complaints. We demand that the Judicial Service Commission to take leadership to the effective involvement of the law society to develop a framework for complaints, handling, inquiry, case tracking, resolution and reporting to members of the public. With the Inspector General of Police, Douglas Kanja, a week ago, noting that 57 cases of abductions have been reported since June, LSK lamented over the abductions and killings of Kenyans during the anti-finance bill demonstrations, calling on the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, APOA, and the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights to conduct thorough investigations and bring the perpetrators to book. The society also raised concerns over the abduction of Uganda's opposition figure Akiza Besije, who was scheduled to attend Mother Karua's book launch in Nairobi over the weekend. The society has called on the international community to intervene, saying the same amounts to sovereignty violations. And we strongly condemn in the strongest terms because it either means that our government is not in control of security in this nation or that we are working in collaboration with external parties to abduct people within the borders of Kenya and extradite them, which is against not only our local but also international laws, conventions, which Kenya has signed and ratified. Odhiambo did not spare the executive also, accusing it of inaction in addressing the rising insecurity, including the never-ending cases of extrajudicial killings. We therefore call out our state institutions, especially the executive, that has paid lip service about their zeal for the rule of law and higher morality. When state action points at a paranoid state that fears any critical thought by its people. We have heard from testimonials by the Inspector General that persons are abducted and kept in detention allegedly beyond the reach of the security agencies established under Article 239 of the Constitution.